Hello, this is Fred, spelled F-R-5-E-D. The five is silent. Here with a beer review. By the way, if you haven't been there yet, visit my website, fr5ed.com. Right now we're going to look at Shipyard Monkey Fist IPA. Shipyard Monkey Fist IPA. Shipyard is up in Maine. Uh, we do happen to have a, 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 a an emporium, a shipyard emporium with a microbrewery down in Winter Park just uh, about five or six miles from here. And I've been in there and have not had this one, uh, so that's why I'm going to review it right here. On RateBeer.com, it is rated at a 77 overall and a 45 in style, and that's after only 32 ratings, so not a lot of ratings yet. And on uh, BeerAdvocate.com, after 23 reviews, it's rated at an 80, and the brothers have not even rated it yet. So anyway, that's it. It's a 6.9% ABV. It's 65 IBUs. Here's the commercial description, a little bit lengthy, so I'll try to read it quickly. <clears throat> Shipyard Monkey Fist is the genesis of a new generation of IPA. Through the traditional elements of classic English IPA have been redefined by American craft beer innovation. So we get a little bit of beer history there. Like the image suggests, Monkey Fist is edgy, aggressive, and unique in style. This beer is brilliant copper in color and exploding with warrior, glacier, and cascade hop character, but able to maintain a beautiful balance. Monkey Fist holds up to the spiciest foods or is delicious, savored just on its own. And I won't read the rest of it because it's not relevant to the beer. So anyway, let's open it up. Let's see if I've got an opener here. Uh, yeah, take that off my foot. And... And anybody interested in these, I'm not selling them, but I love them. They're reefs. My last pair of reefs lasted 18 years. I'm still wearing them, but I just needed some, some newer ones, better ones. And I chose to get the ones that has a bottle opener in the bottom of each one. Can't beat that. All right. So let's pour this. There we go. And it is pretty clear. Ever so slightly bit of haze, just making sure that's not condensation. No, just a, a tiny bit of haze. Not bad at all. It's a light orange, a dark uh, medium honey color. Um, only about a one finger head on there. That seems to be dissipating already, but you know, you get some not much lacing. Hmm. Anyway, let's give it a smell. Oh, a sour lemon smell. That's interesting. Almost a, almost got a little bit of a sour beer lemon smell in there. Um, like sweet tarts. You know, sweet tarts candy. A little bit of herbal and grassy edge to that. It, it's not your, you know, to me, not my typical uh, citrus, pineapple, you know, melon aromas. I'm not getting those. Yeah, that, if I had to pick up one thing, it would be that that kind of powdery sweet tart candy that has a sweet and a, and a, and a sour smell to it. So, anyway, that's interesting. Let's give it a taste. Now, I did mention English IPAs. Which I do get that biscuit, that, that real biscuity, malty foundation taste in there. But the bitterness, this is 65 IBUs. Wow, seems like it could be definitely more. Let me try that again. Yeah, you get this bitterness you get kind of all over the, the middle and the sides and even the front of the tongue. Um, and it's hanging in there. Now it's on the roof of my mouth. That's got a very long, bitter finish. Wow. Very long, bitter finish. You'll carry that around with you for a while. Long after the flavor and the maltiness is gone. You can actually, what is it? It's 6.9% ABV, but it's weird. It's, it's like I can taste the the alcohol. I've had some eights and nines where I didn't taste the alcohol, you know. 
<clears throat> but this it's almost like that was there up front. Okay, so the malty foundation hit me. The definite bitterness, just it's covered in bitterness. That's just wow. That's a very potent bitterness that's kind of coating my mouth. Not saying that's good or bad, it's an observation. Um, as far as taste, as far as flavor, I'm not getting much more than what I just described in the way of flavor. There's a little tiny bit of lemony, citrusy background in there, but it's, it's kind of malty, bitter malty. Just bitter, bitter malty. That's what I'm getting. And the bitterness, my goodness, that is really coating my soft palate, my entire tongue, my cheeks. If you like hot bitterness, wow, it's a very potent. I cannot believe this is only 65 IBUs. This has a very insidious bitterness that kind of grows and then hangs in there. So for those who are all about the bitterness in an IPA, give this a shot because this may really satisfy you. This just, my lips are bitter. It's like the uh, habanero of bitterness. Anyway, um, would I get it again? Let me give it one more sip and I'll let you know. Probably not. And I say that because there are so many craft beers out there. And within that, there are so many IPAs out there. Um, and I've had a lot of IPAs. And this is not one of my favorites. Um, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's kind of narrowly focused, one-dimensional. There's not, to me, not a lot of flavors vying for my attention. Um, there's pretty much a little malt in the beginning and then it's all about the bitterness and it's there <laughs> so anyway this is this is Fred FR5ED over and out